What is going on guys? See this hair? So I officially have a haircut scheduled for tomorrow. The last time I got a haircut was in January. So if you knew me in high school, you know, I'm basically getting to that level. Max is barking downstairs. Let's go see what his ass wants. Boy! You can come back inside? Come on. Man, you want to talk about a guy that's consistently coming at me like that? This guy right here, man. This guy just loves coming at me just like that. All right. So I'm basically going to take you guys through a full day of the final day of having this mop. <laughs> um, one thing I really struggle with when making these videos is not talking like Moran. So I'm just gonna get out of my system. What is going on guys? It is Moran from Resident Aesthetics. My Shred Elisa, brand new video. Welcome to the inside of this video. Brand new video, video, video. Guys, I love making a video. All right, now that I've got that out of my system, um, I'm just gonna get this quick home workout in. Shoulders and back, you guys have pretty much seen this one before. You know what it is. Handstand push-ups, one arm chin-ups. And uh, yeah, let's get it rolling. All right, guys. So I'm getting ready to work out. Max is up here in the office. So if you guys want to see textbook, just blatant disrespect, get ready for it because it's coming. I'm just going to shoot a little time lapse. Yes, already started. Excuse me, man. What can, I, can I help you, man? Okay. Exercise. And this guy literally will not stop trying to come at me. Felt way stronger last week. I don't know what it is. Maybe I just got like the added pressure of Max just spotting me, aka disrespecting me. And I think he's just preventing me from getting into the zone that normally I'd be able to get into. I'm gonna try to shake it off, finish the workout strong. Video, new video. <laughs> Gyms aren't scheduled to reopen in North Carolina until today's June 1st, so later this month for at least another three weeks. I'm gonna be stuck training at home. Um, so the goal right now is not to bulk, not to cut. You know, all I'm really looking to do right now is just kind of maintain where I'm at. You know, when we first got into quarantine, there was like a two or three week period where I just kind of said fuck it and was really kind of eating whatever I wanted. Was still training, you know, was still keeping my knee pretty high. Um, but my weight jumped up, you know, three or four pounds over the course of that period, you know, so I was able to cut back down. Right now I'm maintaining between 165 and 166, you know, and I'd like to get down lower than that, but realistically, you know, I don't think it's a good idea to push it until I can get back into the gym. You know, I feel like mentally being back in the gym and, and having the option to actually lift weights um, is really going to give me a mental edge it's going to make it a lot easier to stick to the lower calories and you know get down to the weight that I want to be at 
Um, so next next on the agenda this morning, like I said, I've been keeping my knee pretty high. I've been focusing predominantly on like steady state cardio, so walking, keeping my steps up. I like to get minimum 10,000 a day. Um, I don't like to go too far beyond that because I've found that when I get up, you know, 15,000 plus, it does affect my appetite to some degree. You know, it makes me a little bit hungrier, and that's obviously what I'm trying to avoid, especially with that emphasis on meat in the first place. But I've got Max here. He's actually asleep behind me under the desk. And uh, we're going to take him for a little WA, okay? Max? Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah? You want to go for a walk? You want to go for a walk outside? Let's go. All right, Max, are you ready to go? You ready to go? So we usually like to walk about two miles or so. There's a nice little route in my neighborhood that we like to take. Um, I like to pop the headphones in here, listen to music, or listen to uh, an audiobook. And uh, yeah. Boy, over here. Hey, sit. Good boy. Max, look, speak. Good boy, you ready to go for a walk? Oh yeah. There we go. Back from the walk. Hopefully Max is tired enough now that he'll let me get some work done. Um, I'm gonna have a little sparkling water. Push the fast just a little bit later. I got a case this afternoon at one. And I'm gonna eat before then. I'll show you guys what I end up eating. Here's Max. Max, what is going on, man? Seriously, man, like, what is going on inside of this video? Anyways, I'm gonna do some work upstairs on the computer. Check on you guys later. Let's. So I probably got about 30 minutes before I need to roll out. So I'm gonna make something to eat. And I'm gonna make some protein oats. Um, I think a lot of people, when they make protein oats, most people use a whey protein. I like to use a collagen protein. I've actually found that consistency-wise, mixing in collagen protein with oats versus whey is a much better consistency. It's kind of chalky and gritty almost when you use a whey protein, at least in my experience. But when you use a collagen protein, it mixes a lot smoother and it's more like porridge oats. You know, you don't have that grittiness to it. So I like that a lot. Um, I'll put the nutrition facts for this meal right here. Um, a little hack that I like to do, if I there's, there's certain foods that I, I tend to eat in combination pretty regularly. Um, and when that's the case, I'll usually put them in as a recipe into my fitness pal because it just makes it a lot easier to track them. So I'm going to make some oats. I'll show you guys what they look like when they're done. There it is. I've been putting this Fiber One cereal, or it's like the Publix brand. But I've been putting this in my oats for a while now. Um, it just kind of expands my stomach and it makes the oats super filling. So it's not a super high calorie meal, but it is very satiating. And this will hold me over until later after in the afternoon. I'll probably have a little snack before supper. Oh no, they're out. Let's see. All right, I'm also gonna sneak a little protein bar uh, for the road, so I'll catch you guys later today. It's honestly though, late. All right, so I'm back, and I'm gonna have a little snack for a conference call. I'm gonna make what I call stasa toast, and it's basically just two slices of bread with some cottage cheese, and I like to put a lot of greens on top for some volume, and then two poached eggs over the top. Get that yolk porn. She was fire. Max, can you say what's going on to the people inside of the video? Max. 
Max. Do you wanna walk? Yeah. You wanna go on a walk? Do you wanna go? Let's go, let's get ready. Come on. Got that bomb meal, some chicken nuggets, some french fries, and a little salad. I'm gonna finish off the steps for the day, a little family walk, a little family outing. Well, this guy, Max said, what's going on to the people, man? He loves talking to the people. I'm gonna put the nutrition for dinner right here. Um, usually like to save quite a, big, quite a bit of calories for the last meal. But uh, we're gonna get these steps in and wrap up the day. See you guys in the next clip. Stay. Stay, boy. Where even is it? Where even is it, boy? Sit. Stay. Alright guys, so I'm just going to kind of wrap up this video right here. I'm going to end the day. Oh my god, 60 grams, two servings of caramel crisps. These quick caramel crisps. Nice way to kind of end the day with something sweet without going too crazy. Um, let's see how many steps we ended the day with. End of the day with 12,156 steps. Um, I'll put my total calories for the day right here. Um, ended between 27 and 2800, which is around maintenance for me. And like I said earlier, the goal right now for me is to just kind of try to maintain what I've got um, and, and set myself up for a nice recomp when the gym's reopen. But that's it. That's the full day of eating. Me, uh, my dog Max, and lots of walks and body weight lifts and some good times. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, smash the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's.